Hey there, Sleeping Amy family, and welcome back to Mailbag Monday. It's a little bit later in the day, but my work schedule's shifted a little bit, so. <laughs> but we have some mail today, and uh, I'm gonna have something special at the very end of the video, so. But I am excited to get into this mail, very, very much so. <laughs> and there's actually one left over from last week. I've already apologized to more for this, but. <laughs> It, it got left on a side table in a different room in, uh, in the house and totally forgot to grab it for uh, to show it off. But, uh, yep, I got one from More33. <laughs> uh, and I know he's, he's very understanding and uh, I had done a trade with him and I, he had sent me the Dusk Noir. I think it's just this one in here. Nope, there's two. We got Dusk Noir, and I think it's, yep, the Beware. So we got Dusk Noir, we'll set this to the side. And we got Beware, and I got penny sleeves over here, so I can throw these in a penny sleeves. Uh, Beware Illustration Rares from Moore. And I think he sent this one to me as an extra, which was awesome of him. The Reverum EX regular one, because I also traded for the full art, which is awesome. <laughs> awesome full art to get. Some great trades to have here. I do love trading uh, cards with with the community. Trying to get some of the smaller illustration rares for the Shrider Fable sets. Uh, still in pulling SIR, which is interesting, but <laughs> uh, I'm definitely open to trading for some of those as well. So Shrider Fable is pretty small, but I'm still a few cards away. I don't know this coming weekend is actually a stellar, a stellar miracle pre-release, so it's insane to think we're about to have another set soon. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to get the rest of these illustrationers and full arts that I need. I think there's one full art left that my Kip and I are lacking. The rest are illustrationers, special illustrationers. Oh, and the the gold. But yeah. <laughs> but thank you more so much for that trade, and uh, they did get here. Uh, in a timely manner, and they uh, they all look very very good. So <laughs> thank you more. Okay, this next one is really special. It's actually a giveaway win, and there is. I will actually put it down below, but wanted to show that off. Super cute, cute uh, sticking up there, and let's see. Got some bubble wrap, and uh, I was really excited because it was. You guys will see the big giveaway prize. Now it was really awesome to get these sticky notes. I absolutely love Evie. He said he was going to include some more Evie items, and this one's super cute. I will absolutely use these. I love sticky notes. And I will absolutely use those. I actually don't have these, which is even more awesome. These Evie sleeves. I think they're just an ultra pro thing. They're probably older sleeves, but I did not have these, so I was really excited when I saw those. Definitely, definitely awesome. We have this super cute, I believe it's a keychain, either a keychain or an ornament of some kind. Definitely something, honestly, I think I'll put it on my Christmas tree <laughs> later in the year. Um, we got this nice little sparkly side on one with the Flareon and the Switch and then a non-sparkly side on the other. So that is a shiny Flareon and a regular Flareon. There we go. Shiny with the sparkles and a shiny switch controller. <laughs> and then there we go. Super cute. I'm actually adoring all this Eevee stuff. Um, I'm gonna put some of it over here so I don't squish the cards. <laughs> and then we have a Flareon little figure right here. We'll set that one right there. We have a Vaporeon figure. Now I'm wondering where these came from. As well as, and I can actually put this one in the background, a little sleeping Eevee figure. It's super cute. We can put it over here by Munchlax. Yeah, we can stay right there. I have a lot of sleeping ages figures. This one, Mike and I actually put together. There's a video of me putting that together. Um, he helped me out with some of the stickers and the other parts, but I put it together myself. I was very proud. 
And uh, of course this one actually came from, I believe it was AliExpress. Just a little sleeping Eevee on a bean bag. There's other ones like that. I have a Munchlax because I thought it was super cute, but I've gotten so much stuff, it was really awesome. And I know you guys can't really see it, but over there I have an Eevee figure. It is the Delicious Adventures figure. It actually still is up on Pokemon Center if you want to see it. Um, but uh, we got a Funko. And as you can see, I have my Umbreon Funko over here. I do already have this little Funko, but I'm happy to keep more of them because I do like the little mini ones. You get those in the Funko calendars. I'm wondering if they'll do another one this year. It actually was just at Target and they had the holiday calendar out. Uh, usually it's it's the TCG one, so it has like the, usually the fun packs. They'll have regular booster packs, but it'll have like special cards in it. I'm gonna wait before you get one of those. And then we got, this was actually in the post for his giveaway, the, the Flareon Pokemon doll, which is awesome. This is actually a Japanese Pokemon plush, as you guys can see. Official Poke doll, Pokemon doll, so awesome there. I'm running out of space. <laughs> Flareon. All right, we, we, we'll just have to set you to, to the side here. <laughs> And I think this is the last part, yep. So this is really awesome because I don't have one of these. I have, a, I do have one like little stand, but I don't have something particularly like this. It is actually a slab stand. And for that to be, the reason why that is significant is the main item in this giveaway was a PSA 10 Hidden Fates Shiny EV card. and. I was so ecstatic and it, he was actually thought it was very fitting that I had won this <laughs> but I was so ecstatic to win this oh my goodness the EV card just a PSA 10 in this EV card oh it's gonna be one of my favorite slabs uh, in my collection I have a very small collection of slabs I do and this is probably gonna be one of my favorites in there so and he, whoops I think you should be able to fit it in here Probably if I take the plastic off, um, which I'll have to try that out with a different slab. Uh, yeah, we'll try that out with the different slab. <laughs> uh, I know I have a Espeon, a shiny Espeon. Maybe we can try that out uh, later on. I can put that in the background, maybe behind the Eevee and my kit. But this is really cool. I've never seen this before. I think it's probably 3D printed, but I really like that. It looks like it's a perfect fit. So I can also see if uh, slabs other than the PSA ones been there. But thank you, thank you so much for all of this. I didn't expect so much to come in a giveaway. Um, <laughs> I knew he said he was sending extras, but it was so many extras. It kept going and I was very, very surprised and it kept getting more and more awesome because I love all these EV cards. Let me put that slab right there. And uh, <laughs> I just love all these Eevee items. I kept getting excited with each one because the sticky notes on the sleeves I've never had before and the figures are just adorable. So, and this little figure is gonna be in the background <laughs> and sit back there for a bit. Let's see if we can't lean it up against the Munchlax. Munchlax a little bit better. If not, I thought about putting it on the bean bag too. But yeah, <laughs> again, this is an awesome giveaway. <laughs> and uh, I'm very excited for all the items. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh man. I know the figures of these two, I will probably put with the other small figures I have of Pokemon that are in my room. Um, but yeah, <laughs> sometimes it gets a little crowded back there. I know I can like to leave the front full of cards so I can put a lot of cards there. But let's go on to the next one, and this one is from President Piplup. Featured last week as well. This week, I just got one card from them. And that card is the Here Comes Team Rocket Hollow from Team Rocket. <laughs> this is one of the few remaining cards my Kipot and I have left to get for the Team Rocket set uh, and will be officially done. I think we're actually down to six cards. Um, one of them actually being the non-hollow version of that one. Uh, but 
We're getting really close. We are getting very, very close. I believe we're down to more non-hollows than hollows. I think it's four non-hollows and two hollows. I could be wrong on that one, but that sounds about right. But it's six cards. Um, the hollows, two of the hollows I know are Gyarados and Dark Machamp, so. But yeah, very, very close indeed, and I'm quite excited <laughs> to finish that one, because it'll be the last one to finish in our base set era vintage binder. Still working on the promos, but we will have the first four sets complete, since we, I, I've said this a few times since we skipped the base set too. And then we'll be able to move on, do more heavy focus on the gym era. Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge, but thank you, President Piplup, for the Here Comes Team Rocket card. Next one is from Poke Gifts. Let's see, this one was another purchase, and this will be perfect. I won't show this one off today. Just kind of putting that out there. But it is a Wellspring Ogre Pond EX Full Art. I have two of them. So this is kind of a planned art page for Twilight Masquerade. And uh, I'll be able to finish out that page with the Wellspring Mask Ogre Pond. So um, <laughs> it is not one of the things I'm going to show off today. Um, Still keeping that a little bit of a secret towards the end, but uh, I'm gonna be excited to show that off. <laughs> I would have, I would love, 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 love to get the art page for Shroud of Babel done before I show you guys, but I don't think I will because uh, we haven't pulled the card. And when we actually pull the card that we wanna do a page of, I will tell you guys. <laughs> we haven't pulled the card though. <laughs> um, but uh, it's, it's gonna be a good page. I think it's a card most people probably wouldn't expect to be picked for an art page. So, but uh, we will move on before I give me more hints. <laughs> okay. Next one. And actually I'm gonna do, before I do the very last card purchase, I will show off my eBay purchase. So, I was hoping this would actually restock on the website, but it did not. And I actually officially just said it was not restocking, which is a bit of a bummer, but I went on eBay and found it. Not too much, but still worth it because it actually did come with a protector. But it is the Chimchar Flocked from Funko. There were like, I think a very, very small amount they actually sold out in the same day that they were released. I didn't realize they were up for sale until it said it was sold out. Um, I got the notification, of course, while I was actually at work. So it was a bummer, but I did get this off eBay and they sent it in a, a pop protector too, so, which is awesome. So <laughs> very glad to have this because I don't want to have one missing out of my Funko collection. I mean, I spent a lot of time trying to get all these Funkos, all the Pokemon Funkos. So I uh, definitely, definitely keep up with them. And I think the plastic was still on this pop protector. So yeah, because it's kind of peeling off. Oh. <laughs> it's like nothing more satisfying than peeling off this plastic. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Because it also looks like there's a, it's kind of like a shine to it, like a fade. And it's just these pop protectors you get out. Certain places have them. Just a little plastic on them. See how that's kind of faded? There's still plastic on it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just happened to pull some of it off and it was bugging me. There we go. Here we go. That way you can see it a little bit clearer and it doesn't have a, a film to it, which is what I was seeing before. There we go. Nice, pretty, pretty chimchar. 
But like I said, there is one more. And we will put him over here off to the side where you guys can't see because the last one's gonna be good. <laughs> the last one is from Polka Vibes. They're honestly building up to a really good sale. And I know I'm definitely probably gonna check out their sale. I did get quite a few from this past one that'll definitely help. Let's see. So we got Erica's Clefairy and Latios promo. My kid had already got me the Latias, so it was a good match there. Brock's Primeape, Brock's Sand Slash, and there's nothing behind these. So these will be good additions to the uh, Gym, Gym Era binder. And let's see what else. We also have Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite, Brock's Geodude. This Marsh Tomp that I did not have for, the, I think this is Ruby and Sapphire base. But of course, Marsh Tomp for uh, Mud Kib line. <laughs> and then Koga's Coughing, like I said, gonna really help with the gym era stuff. And then the last pack of cards that I got, and I know they sent me some extras. They are always awesome when they do that. Uh, we also have <laughs> Giovanni's Machoke, Lieutenant Surge's Electrode, and the other Ogre Pond that'll finish off that page. And the extras they sent, I actually got this sleeve as well. Paldean Student, the both of the versions. And this is an extra, a reverse hollow Eevee from the Japanese 151. This is not a master ball, that would, that would be absolutely crazy. But this is a reverse hollow just Pokeball. And I really love that. I really love these reverse hollows. It's just too bad they don't print these in English. And the sleeve, I also got this as well. It is from the Chinese boxes. So this is, or the 25th anniversary box it looks like, yeah. I know there's an Umbreon box that you can get. Uh, I think I might have sleeves in there too. But this is from the 25th anniversary. It's one of the 25th anniversary like specialty boxes. So I was really glad to just get one of these sleeves. I'll definitely probably put him uh, with my evolution cards in the Umbreon section. So thank you so much, Poker Vibes. You guys are awesome. You guys have amazing sales. And every time you have more sales, I'm like, I have to just. <laughs> hone in on what I need because I feel like I could easily just go for so many cards you guys have so <laughs> but thank you thank you so much um and like I said I'm gonna show you guys something since we are at the very end of the video I will pause for a moment to get them out but I will say up front I made the decision to stop collecting master sets I made that decision uh, I talked to it with Mudkip, but I made that decision to stop collecting the master sets as honestly, especially with the upcoming dates of Surging Sparks and Stellar Miracle, and I, I feel like I keep trying to struggle to finish sets before the next one comes out. I just finally decided it's just a bit much, so I'm going to stop collecting master sets for now. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I will again in the future. I, what I've decided to do, at least with the Scarlet and Violet Arrow ones, is put them into separate binders. So, the binders I'm going to show you guys are the cards from the Scarlet and Violet Era that I've sorted so far. I'm just going to show off two of them right now, and uh, you guys will see how I've sorted them. Um, I'm still collecting the illustration rares. I'm still collecting, uh, special illustration rares and all that. I, th I think this will just be helpful in how I focus on collecting and how I focus on getting cards and such as well. And I feel like it'll make a really fun change to my videos so I can have not just focus so much on one set of trying to finish it, but be able to introduce other sets and try to make my videos a bit more fun <laughs> for me and you. So it is, it is a change. I thought about it for a little bit and 
I absolutely believe this is a way to help reduce my own stress <laughs> and still make collecting enjoyable to me. So, sorry for a little rant, <laughs> a, little, a little soap op, but uh, yeah, give me a moment and I will show you guys how I am collecting Scarlet and Violet cards now. So I have sorted them out into individual binders. I have several binders that kind of pulled the cards out and reused them. So this is one that was originally, re that was used for, I think, Paldea Evolved. But now it holds the full arts of Scarlet and Violet era. So these are all the full arts from Basin, Paldea Evolved, <laughs> Obsidian Flames, Pokemon 151, Scarlet and Violet 151, uh, Temporal Forces, Paradox Rift, I may have had those switched too, <laughs> and uh, yep, we got Temporal Forces still, and then we have our Twilight Masquerade, and it may have started on the other page, yeah, Twilight Masquerade, right here, and then we have the ones in Shrouded Fable, which, of course, I do have one I can put in. That will be all right. And I keep these. Any spots I'm missing, I just write out the card if it is, you know, known, and then I write on energy, so I can easily find that card without having to constantly look it up. So, we have placed our Rebel Room in there. As you can see, I'm still missing two full arts. I think this one might be an in route since it was a trade. So I'm missing two full arts. And then I will have all of the full arts currently out um, in the Scarlet and Violet era. The other one I wanted to show you guys, and this is one for sure. I know the Full Art community appreciate this. The Full Art Trainer Club will definitely appreciate this. It is all the Full Arts from Scarlet and Violet era in one binder. Um, definitely wanted to collect this, the Full Art Trainers in Scarlet and Violet era. If I do the previous eras, it will be probably something in the future. I'm definitely going to focus on Scarlet and Violet for now. <laughs> Uh, as you guys know, I had started doing master sets with Brilliant Stars, so I actually have all the full art trainers from Brilliant Stars all the way through uh, Silver Tempest of Sword and Shield era. I do have some from the previous sets, but I don't have all of them. But we had the base set, here is Paldea Evolved, and uh, Ipsonian Flames, uh, Scarlet Violet 151, we have Paradox Rift, all the way over here, and then we have Temporal Forces, which start, oh, we have a, this is from Paldean Fates. <laughs> we have the Paldean Fates ones in here. Um, the Full Arts Pokemon are not in the other one. I'll have to show that one off in the future, you'll see why, but we have the Paldean Fates Full Art Trainers here, the Temporal Forces Full Art Trainers, and then the Twilight Masquerade and Shrouded Fable. So I have, do have all the full art trainers currently released. Um, <laughs> the Shrouded Fable ones, there were only four, and we happened to pull all four, my kid and I did. So yeah, this is how I really like the way uh, we decided to, my kid gave me suggestions of how to do this, but he totally left it up to me. But I actually really like how these binders look so much better than the master sets. Um, if I do this eventually with Sword and Shield, I'll definitely have to go back and get them. But for now, I'm gonna leave those master sets alone. I'm only focused on Scarlet and Violet as it's easier and it's an ongoing thing. The ones I am going to continue to complete are the Wizards of the Coast ones, being that makes it easier, there's no reverses. So um, that is definitely a project my Kip and I had set out together. Uh, I have other projects, but doing the mass, not doing the master sets actually frees up more time for me to actually focus on some of the other things, I binder projects and things I wanna do um, to show you guys as well, because I get really excited to put binders together and <laughs> this way I can actually put 
some of the products I put on the back burner, I can actually work on those since I don't have to constantly sort parts to do master sets. But hopefully you guys <laughs> uh, enjoyed how I'm going to do this in the future. If you guys do master sets, uh, more power, power to you. I, you can always ask me on Twitter if I have any of the reverses you need. I definitely still have the reverses now. Um, definitely going to bulk all these out at some point. So if you're looking for cards for master sets, let me know in the Scarlet and Violet era. Let me know. Um, and I, I'm probably going <laughs> to, we can work something out. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video with some cards in the back and some new way of collecting that I'm going to be collecting from now on. And it's going to make me, I'm already excited and happy about it. So <laughs> if you would hit that like button, and if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> the next, uh, I think this coming weekend, Mike Gip and I will be on another adventure. So stay tuned for that. And I'll be opening up some Shroud of Fable in Wednesday's video. Until the next one, take care, sleep well, and good night. <laughs>